Hey guys, Matt here. Um, I want to do a video real quick today. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and he asked me a question that really kind of threw me off guard. Now this is a pro-gun guy, pro-Second Amendment, pro-NRA, he owns firearms, been around guns for a long time. He asked me the question, why does anybody need a 30-round clip? Now before you jump on my ass about the clip thing, I know it's a magazine, not a clip, those are his words, not mine. But the question itself really threw me off guard, and I didn't really know what to say at first. And when I did, get to the point where I was like, okay, I know what I'm going to say. My first instinct was to say, well, it's my right to have it, okay? It's, it's my natural born right as protected under the Second Amendment to have this or to have this. And as long as I use them responsibly and I don't seek to do unjustifiable harm to anybody, then it's my right to have them. As we all know, at least on the pro-gun side of things, this is the ultimate defense against tyranny. And that is what the Second Amendment is about. It's not about sports shooting or hunting or anything like that. Those are just byproducts. It's about defending ourselves against tyranny in all its forms. Now, while I realize that that answer works really good for somebody who already kind of leans pro-gun, for people that lean anti-gun, that answer doesn't really work. So I wanted to put some information out there that hopefully would help some people out, either in answering that question, or uh, if you're anti-gun anyway, maybe this will at least get you to think twice before saying that nobody should be allowed to have these. Now, every year about 12,000 people die from firearms. Now, some of that is, is criminal and criminal violence, some of that is justifiable homicides, and some of it is just despicable crime where one person kills another person unjustifiably. Now, in contrast to that, about 45,000 people die every year from car wrecks. Okay? Now, children is another big issue that's been brought up a lot lately. About 2,500 to 3,000 children die every year from parental abuse. All right? Far more children than die from firearms. Also, far more children than that die every year from drowning in swimming pools. All right? Now, have we banned cars? Have we banned swimming pools? Have we gotten to the point to where children are taken away from their parents at the hospital because we can't allow parents to raise their children for fear they might abuse them? No, we haven't done any of that. All things which are far more serious than firearms and the deaths that firearms create. Yet we've addressed none of those issues. Why? Because it's our right to have swimming pools. It's our right to be able to drive a vehicle if we want. It's our right to be able to raise our children. Okay? I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, same friend that asked me the question. He drives a big V8 four-door pickup truck, yet he has a job where he doesn't need a pickup truck. And one of the examples I used was, well, why do you have this pickup truck? If you were to get into a wreck with that pickup truck, you're far more likely to kill the other person. You should be driving around in a four-door, four-cylinder car because that's all you need. Right? Makes sense, doesn't it? But yet, we don't restrict people to that. We don't say that you can only have a pickup truck if you're in a position to where your job requires it. No, we let anybody buy a pickup truck. We let anybody have a swimming pool. And we let just about anybody have kids nowadays and raise them even those that don't deserve it. This is the argument we're talking about here, guys. It's about our rights. This is our right. This is our right to defend against tyranny. This is what it's good for. And as long as we're responsible with it, just like we're responsible with our cars, with our swimming pools, and with our children, then nothing should be able to take that away from us. Period.